Hi, this is Roger. Uh, this video is going to show how to um, make the time data show up as seconds rather than the hours, minutes, seconds that the standard format is. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a uh, CSV file. I just double clicked on it and it's going to open up in Excel here. Uh, and so this is what the data looks like when you, you know, first open it up and then the time is in this hour, minute, second format. Um, to get that over to uh, seconds, we're going to have to insert a column. So I'll just highlight the C column. And then if I hit uh, Control Shift Plus, it uh, inserts a column, or I think you can just hit use the Insert button up above. We'll just call that time. And then in this, um, I want, I'm going to want this to start out at zero seconds. So in order to do that, I'm going to write a formula up here that says equals uh, B6 minus uh, B6 and I'm going to hit the function F4 key which inserts these dollar signs up here and you can just type the dollar signs in and that means when I when I drag this formula down this cell will increment and this one won't <clears throat> and then the other thing we have to do is the Excel stores time values as um, a, as a fraction of a day and so if we want to convert that to seconds um, we have to multiply by 24 hours in a day and by 3,600 seconds uh, in an hour. And if we do that, and then uh, we should be able to double click on that little corner and, and it should implement or increment down. Now it, it, uh, it copied the hour, minute, second format. So now we just wanna go up here and change it back to a general format. And now this is time in seconds right here. And so now you could go ahead and make a graph, like if you wanted to plot uh, time in seconds, uh, and then the SMO2 average and the THP values, you can just do uh, insert um, XY graph, uh, which would be charts, XY scatter graph, and then pick the one with the line, say okay. And now we've got, uh, We've got time in seconds across the bottom and SMO2, SMO2 and THB on this side. And then you can go and edit the graph just like you normally would.